Florida man who wanted to clear his conscience confessed to murdering a woman a decade ago. On the afternoon on the 29th of September, 43-year-old Benjamin Moulton walked into the Manatee County Sheriff's Office and admitted to murdering 29-year-old Nicole Rose Scott in 2011. He told the investigators that he had found Jehovah and couldn't live with their guilt anymore. In December of 2011, Nicole's lifeless and partially clad body was discovered by a motorist at the end of University Boulevard in the Lakewood Ranch area. She had been strangled and had visible trauma to her face. Her body had likely been dumped in the remote wooded area several days before her body was found. At the time of the murder, investigators interviewed Ben regarding his connection with Nicole. However, detectives were unable to compile enough evidence to link him to the crime. The case went cold after several years with no leads. After confessing to the investigators, Ben told them that he killed her in a fit of rage and provided other details about the case that were never released to the public and only stuff that he would know if he had been out there. He was taken into police custody and was charged with Nicole's murder. An electrician from Nazareth, Pennsylvania has been charged with murder after fatally attacking three co-workers with a baseball bat and a knife. The incident occurred while 39-year-old Sean Runyon, who's employed by an electric firm called j Electric, was assigned to complete some work at an adult state public supermarket in Lakeland, Florida. He stayed in a temporary home that he shared with seven other residents, which consisted of co-workers and their families, at Windsor Island Resort in Devonport. While at the job site at 2am on the 1st of October, Sean got into a heated argument with his supervisor and punched him and then fled the scene. His supervisor thought he went back to his home since he hadn't heard from him for over a day. At around 9.44am the next morning, Sean allegedly returned to the workhouse with a baseball bat and a knife and viciously attacked his colleagues before fleeing the scene. The authorities were contacted and responded to the location and found a man who had been beaten to death while he slept. The second victim was found dead on the front porch. The third was admitted to hospital in an extremely critical condition after being severely beaten and passed away later that night. It was reported that Sean chased the fourth victim into the street and struck him in the back and shoulder with a bat. Another man, his wife and seven-year-old girl escaped unharmed. A search for the suspect began, which involved dozens of deputies, canine units, drones and a helicopter. They tried to locate him through a blood trail, but that trial went dead and the authorities couldn't find him. At around 11.37am, Sean showed up at a couple's home in Lake Wales, Florida. His clothes were covered in blood and he told them that he had been lewdly assaulted. Sean discarded some of the clothes at the home. They urged him to go to the local hospital where he was taken into custody. Authorities said Sean confessed to the crime. He said he was heading back to Pennsylvania on Interstate 75 when he began plotting the murder of his supervisor and two other men at the home. He also had marijuana and cocaine in his system while he committed the murders. None of the victims' names have been released. Sean has been charged with three counts of murder and one count of aggravated battery. Sean was out on bail for a slew of other indictable offences he committed back in May of 2021, including strangulation, which he's due to appear in court for on the 14th of October.